how do we play with Simone Quandrix Prodigy? How do we build a deck that is competitive with Simone? Well, we counter everything because the play pattern is you, we are going to play Simone and pass the turn. And then if the opponent doesn't do anything, we're going to put a land with her ability. We're going to ramp. Or we're going to draw when we have four or more cards. Um, there are lands on the battlefield. If we have eight or more, then we draw two. If the opponent, on the other hand, plays something that's a threat, then we're going to counter it. And then we ramp eventually into Vorinclex or some other threat, some big creature or big spell that just wins the game because it creates so much value, like Nisa Ascended Animist, for example. Let's jump into some games. We're up against Solkana the Tainted, which has some abilities that the, the opponent can do. Notably, it can kill a commander with 3 damage. And the last ability gives us their commander, so probably they're going to bounce it or do something to keep that from happening, I suppose. We have a hand with now Set's Reversal, which doesn't counter their commander. Convolute could counter it, though. And uh, three lands. We have blue and green, so I guess... That's enough for us. We want to play Zimone on turn two. Let's play Wizards Class right now because we can. Doesn't hurt us. Okay, here goes Zimone. Here is Simone. Opponent place a pretty swamp and they are going to infernal grasp it so we lose our simone we're not going to pack to negation that because we lose and um that sounds bad so we're going to let it resolve that's fine the deck can function without simone because simone all she does is ramp and draw cards which is not essential to the deck it's nice to have, but it's not a commander that you need to necessarily have, otherwise the deck doesn't function. You can you can ramp in other ways and you can draw cards in other ways. So if they kill it, we're not in a hurry to to play her again. It's not a synergy piece, let's say, of the deck. So we can draw cards using other things. Like in this case we can use the wizard class to draw cards. We could also solve the equation, but I think I want to draw cards here because we want some land. We, we need to ramp. We need more land. So there we go. We got two lands. And now our opponent is going to break some mirrors. So let's play an island. And now we could replace Simone, but I'd rather just solve the equation. Okay, so now the opponent is going to draw some cards by discarding something. We don't care. You do what you do. I don't... I don't care. What you gonna do? So, we could annul that, but I'd rather wait and uh, save it for something much scarier. I don't care they ramp a little bit here. They already got some treasures. Okay, so Demonic Pack, though, is something we want to counter, and we could use Convolute, but it is an enchantment, so we might as well just use the Annul. It's a little bit of a waste of mana, because we're not using the other three mana for anything, but... 
I know it's so narrow that I might as well use it here. And now, although Simone is not a field week, we continue with the same pattern. We can draw a card off of Confounding Conundrum at least, even though it doesn't do anything on on that deck, unless they run like fetch lands, like Fable Passage or something. And we can hold up some counter magic. We have Pact of Negation and Convolute to use. Either of those a good okay they go for midnight clock and uh, I think we want to counter that I make a mistake here because I forget that they can pay for so they can sack the treasure here and pay for but I really want to counter that midnight clock so we go for the pact of negation as well and so the midnight clock kind of two for one says a little bit but the opponent is low on cards in hand here we cannot play the memory lapse we, we can't hold it up because we have no blue man open so the opponent creates more treasures and we can't stop that commander unfortunately they draw a card and our plan here is to solve the equation and try to find rivers rebuke which is gonna wreck him. Unfortunately, we don't have enough blue. Although, we could have left Demolition Field untapped and maybe turned it into an island. That wouldn't, wouldn't have been the worst because we're holding mana here for either memory lapse or memory lapse. Now such reversal is unplayable. Opponent keeps just ramping ahead. But we have a counter for whatever big thing they might come up with. Let's see what they do. For now, they're just draining us because we're at such low life. But they didn't play anything, so I could have gone for the island if I hadn't tapped manually, I might add, the demolition field. So that's our second mistake that game. Uh, however, the river's rebuke here is brutal on them. They don't seem to have a counter spell, and if they did. If they had had a counterspell, then we wouldn't have been able to respond because we didn't have that extra island. So we weren't punished. Punish just replays their commander. For some reason, they draw instead of draining us. They seem to feel like they're not going to win on that front. And they might be right because... We're about to gain some life here with Hydroid Crazes. I want to hold up mana for either Nasser's Reversal or Memory Lapse. Let's go for Crazes. Draw some cards. And we can leave Count magic open. Now we have a threat, albeit a slow one. And we gained some life back, which is important. Okay, so here we could actually Narset, Narset's reversal the Yagmoth's vile offering.
I wasn't sure because I, I didn't control a legendary. But since we're just copying it, not casting it, it turned out fine. There's only one creature to get back, and it's the Graven Arch Fiend. Um, we, again, we don't have to sacrifice anything because that's part of the casting cost, and we're not casting it, we're just returning it. The opponent saves their commander here with Essence Flux. They have a lot of tricks to get their commander to reset. They draw more cards. So they're not draining us, which is nice. And here we can deploy another of our Wayne Cons. Notice how Nisa, you can play her for five. And she's pretty good, but you can also play her for seven, and, she, and she's like an almost instant win condition at that point. So we're going to go for seven here. And if you read the last ability, you can you can insta alt her, and just go just get plus one plus one for each forest. On every creature. That's pretty powerful, but not enough to deal 25 damage. So, here I'd rather just create a token and win next turn. Next turn, you can ult Niza, and, and we have enough creatures to kill the opponent. I'm just gonna attack with one creature here just in case because we're still at 8. I don't. I don't want to just die out of the blue with with I don't know removal plus a trigger from the commander or something. Who knows? And there's a the removal. We can counter it with memory lapse. But then there's a second removal that we unfortunately have no mana for, although we have the joy disruption. And it's gonna be exactly five because it, we know it's in their hand. It's the Yakmoth vile offering. They go for the Nisa because it, it's a it's a win con. And do they drain us here? They finally drain us, but they could have drained us two more times. Remember, but they chose not to. Here we draw. We we can win some life back gain some of that life back or we can add counters to a creature and increase our damage potential being at 6 life and the commander having the ability to drain us I decide to, to get back some of that life and and get even more life by escaping Uru. Now we sit at a comfortably 12 life. And here I could play Simone, could go for Simone, or could just live up Juari Disruption, which is not very useful because they have a lot of land, but just in case. And we can attack all since now we're at twelve life. We're not we're not so low, and so it's not so dangerous to just die out of the blue. Pro not not so likely. Dry disruption does not disrupt this chupacabra, so we die. No, we don't die. We just lose Uru. That's fine. The trickster god's heist. We cannot counter that either because the opponent has one mana left. But then they scoop. They could have, like, switched the control of two creatures, give me the 2 2, get an 8 8 or something, but it doesn't untap it. So they still die from. Wait, they, 
they could take a flyer. They could take the five five, and then they don't die. They just have to block the eight eight. But I don't know. They decided to scoop instead. They they weren't dead. Not on board. I don't that I don't see. Nothing I can see. Depends on what we draw. Yeah, they they were not dead. We're up against Kamba, cat and Jory. What does it do? It's a cat that gets equipment and makes it so that other cats also, when they enter, they just enter equipped with something. So we're looking at an aggro cat theme, equipment theme deck. The River's Rebuke is going to be great against them. The rest, not so much. Especially Barrier, Barrier Breach is not great against them. Because it doesn't target artifacts, just enchantments. So, luckily, it, it does have cycling. We just need to get to 6 mana, and River's Rebuke is going to be great against them. That's a nice leave from the opponent. So let's play this land and decline to show them information. There's no need. There's no need. Titan of Industry is nice, but still far away. Now we can play Zimone here or Cycle Barrier Bridge. Getting Zimone out helps with the ramp, and we want to get to the River's Rebuke as soon as possible. So let's play Zimone here. See what happens. Does opponent go for Kemba here and equip? Yeah, they go for Kemba and they just auto equip. Now Kemba has Ward, which is annoying. And here I'd rather just leave up mana for Mystical Dispute, I think, in case they play uh, like an equipment piece or something. And if not, we can always ramp. We can cycle barrier breach and ramp. We can do those two things in the same turn. In case they don't like play a threat. Okay. We can take four, but there's no need. No need to block or anything. Although I could block, but it's just four for now. I I'm assuming they are going to play another piece of equipment here and just make it bigger um, well if they're just going to ramp then it, that's not worthy of a counter spell I think it could put a like a, f a two mana equipment later without giving me the chance to counter it but a two mana equipment is not that scary so I'd rather just ramp a little and try to find more land with the cycling of this we don't find the land, unfortunately, but we can ramp here. Hopefully we draw a land here. Okay, we don't draw a land. We could use Raven Farm to exile something, but not the creature. Because it's got Ward 2. We're one mana short, unfortunately. We have Master's Rebuke, but it's not, again, not very useful. We need to find land need a way to draw cards. I guess the best way to do that, or the only way, is with crashes. We could draw two. We gain some life. I mean, one life, I think. It's not nothing. We draw one card. We didn't hit the land, unfortunately. And this deck has over 40 lands, I think. But somehow, these things happen. And the mana Scrooge makes uh, River's Rebuke really hard to cast. Opponent goes with a Colossus Hammer, which is kind of scary. If they get a cat there, it's going to equip. Okay, so they play Danitha, which is not a cat, so it doesn't get auto-equipped. They attack us for four, which 
again, we can just take it. Life is a resource. Life is as a resource, and uh, we're at 18. We finally draw the land, and now we have a choice of either Raven forming something. We could Raven for a Kambi, and, and we could play for the ward, but we tap out. And I wonder, I, I really want to find the extra land we need for the river's rebuke because that's really going to put us in the game. So, how do we draw land? Zimon could draw us that land by, by paying four mana. So, we could leave up the ma um, like all the mana up and just no attacks. Just end of the turn. We could use Zimon at the end of the turn. If they play a threat, though, I might be pressed into mystical disputing it or Nasset's reversing it I could also Master's Rebuke and kill, uh, for example, Danita or whatever creature they equip, unless I can't kill Kemba. So if they equip Kemba, then that, that doesn't work. I guess I could have killed Kemba here if, if I go Master's Rebuke plus the block. But I want to draw cards so much because I need to find that land that I just don't. So maybe I shouldn't have blocked. We really need to find that land though. So Simone is going to help with finding the land. Let's draw a card. We kind of did find the land technically, but it comes tapped. Which is terrible. So because of that minus crew, we're kind of almost dead now. We're forced into removing something here. Especially the Colossus Hammer looks pretty threatening. If they just if they just equip it to something. I could write Master's Rebuke the creature if they equip it to one of one of the two toughness creatures, but if they equip it to Kamba for instance or the other creature. No, nothing I could do in response. So Colossus Hammer is looking really threatening and I, I think we should just kill it. Even though, what's the equip cost? Can it? Can they even pay it with? With Nyctos, they surely can, right? So yeah, we have to get rid of that. We could get rid of Transparse, but the hammer looks more menacing. We even have two mana left for Nash's Reversal here, which is nice. Do they have any protection? If they do, we could use Nasus Reversal. Okay, they don't. They don't. This is fine. If we can resolve that River's Rebuke next turn, if we survive one turn, we're going to be golden. Oh, yeah. Let's see it. Let's see it to believe it. Does the opponent have lethal here? We can always block with Simone at this point. Might as well. Otherwise we die. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So they don't... Okay, wait, wait a minute. 13. They don't have lethal. They have 13, but if they have a trick, we die. So, And if they use the trick on the 4-4 four four with ward, we definitely die. So, blocking Kemba is not, not the worst play here. Just to be safe. Better safe than sorry. 
that does mean we we end up without a board, and we can still reverse rebuke, but we're at four life and without a board presence. We draw a land, which is nice, because it plays around mana tithe in case the opponent has it. We could pay the one. Okay, now we're in a safer position, but if the opponent has a haste equipment here, a haste equipment card here, plus a creature kills us. Okay, looks like they don't have it. So we just turn them industry because it gains life, right? It's a lot of uh, upside. Unfortunately, the opponent does have the mana tithe. So we could have played around it by playing Multani instead. And maybe we would have survived, but alas.